second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. Jessica. Hi. Hi. So you're looking for a guy by the name of Andy? I sure am. All right. Yeah. So, so what happened between you and Andy? Uh, well, I just, you know, I had a wedding to attend, and I went by myself, actually. I didn't bring him. Mm-hmm. But I, you know, I got the invite before I met him, so it was kind of awkward. Like, should I ask him to go with me? That whole thing. Oh, this is the this is the okay. So I see you're telling uh, us why you think he's mad at you. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So totally. like, were you guys you guys were seeing each other for a little bit before this? Yeah. And everything was good. Sure, but, okay. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah. What uh, I understand though, weddings are like a big date thing. So if you're not. Yeah. You know. Well, she said she got the invite before she met him. No, so no, I talked, know. Uh, okay, well, let me ask you a question. Did you go to the wedding with another human being who might have been the same sex as Andy that perhaps you maybe had another relationship with or that Andy didn't know or something like that? No. I mean, that would explain it, but I didn't. I just went with my friends. Oh, so you okay. want like a basically alone a girlfriend? Oh, yeah, okay. Totally. Oh, and well, you're maybe like you're scratching mad, your head. You're just mad sensitive. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, I would feel kind of weird, even if I, I'd be like, I know it's an inconvenience, but can I come with? Oh, no, I don't know. I mean, uh, okay, so okay, you know what? I think we can fix this because you have a lot of uh, things on your side. To sway him to forgive you, if that's the reason. If he, if it is, maybe it's just like a little bit of a emotional damage, as they say. Yeah, exactly. I just want to know what's up. It's really strange to me too. So. All right, all right. Well, listen, we will. Uh, we'll give him a call for you next. All right. Okay. All right. Hopefully, this dude answers. Hello. Hello. Is this Andy? Nah. Yeah. Speaking. Oh. Okay, perfect. Uh, Andy, sorry for calling you so early in the morning and waking you up. Uh, this is Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa from Hot 96.9. Um, c- can I explain to you why we're calling? Wait, wait, what, what the f*** is this? Okay, so, so we're calling you from a radio station, and it's because we got your phone number from somebody, from a girl who wanted us to reach out to you. It's a girl that you know who, uh, who likes you. I'm going to tell you her name, and, and she would love to ask you all on, on a date. So here's the thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll, like, again, we're going to tell you her name, and if you want to go on a date with her, you tell us where you want to do the date. You tell us when you're free. You, we'll set the whole thing up for you, free food, free drinks, you and this girl you know, just to see if you hit it off. I mean, look, I, I'm, I'm kind of taking a step back from dating right now. Um, the last girl I was with was, like, the damaged me emotionally, but... Um, that being said, I I, I, I do love free sh- so who's uh, the chick? Okay. Who doesn't? Yo, I'm so, so funny you said damage me emotionally. Okay, so listen, she wants to apologize because she really likes you. Uh, she wants to apologize if you if you were hurt about her going to the wedding without you. We're talking about uh, Jessica. Oh, no, 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 and, and no. <laughs> That bitch. I mean, uh, can I go back okay. to bed now? No, no, but that listen, again, quickly. she really likes you. And if she, she said that if it was possible for her to bring you to the wedding, she would have. I mean, yeah, whatever. At the time, I was a bit bummed. Fine. I was bummed out of a bad, but I'm not going to lie. But in hindsight, I'm glad I didn't go because that, that, this chick is a bitch. Mm. How the f- am I a bitch? Hold, okay, hold on. She, Andy, uh, Jessica's on the phone, and she, and she has heard what, what, what you said. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Lovely. I have. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I, I just want to know how me saying I wish I could bring you to the wedding that, you know, I went to alone makes me the bitch here. Oh, sure. No, I'll be glad to explain. So one night, you guys know how those couples do those things where they ask each other, like, oh, what, what attracted you to me? Yeah. So... Like, why do you love me and stuff like that? Yeah. Things like, well, not love. You know, we started dating, you know, but, yeah. um, you know, so I, she asked me, and I was like, well, I told her it was her eyes, and they're literally the sexiest thing I've ever seen. I mean, she's beautiful, and, Aww. and when I, yeah, well, that's sweet. And then when I realized, well, I realized she was smart, and I knew, you know, that she was there and everything, so, that's, you know. Nice, thank you. I appreciate that. That is nice. <laughs> but but then I asked her the same question and uh, you know, I'm waiting for this great compliment. 
And uh, do you know what she f***ing said? <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> she f***ing told me that I reminded her of a broken animal that no one else wants, <laughs> but that she, but that, but that I just needs to be loved. Uh, a dog on the side of the road that just needs a good bath with some food. Okay, so it was like one of those backhanded compliments. <laughs> That's not a where compliment. it's not really a compliment at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh no! I mean, to me, I was just telling the truth. I don't uh, think it's a big deal. Okay, let's rub it in. <laughs> let's no, rub I mean, it in. I, he asked me a question. Okay, I'm a very straightforward person. I answered it honestly. And for me, it's like, whatever, you know, I like fixer uppers. I'm just something <laughs> okay. I look for. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, you don't, no, you don't, you don't be honest with me about that. You tell me some bullshit, you make me feel good. <laughs> like, if it's completely I mean, not the rules, the rules of the game. Someone to lie to you? The rules of the game. <laughs> That's the rule, pebbles, the rules of the game are what attracted you to me. Especially after hearing your eyes. They're the sexiest thing i ever seen. And then your brain. Like, that's when she should be like, okay, let me throw the wounded animal comment out the window and say, hmm, let me look. What has he got going on for him? Your ass. You, you say something oh physical, God. even if it's not exactly the truth. Okay, but my counter to that would be we always hear, you know, honesty is the best policy. Couples, you know, are never honest with each other. They break up for that reason. So... Let's say, like, I'm gaining weight, and I ask you, does it look like I've gained weight? Are you going to lie to me? Yes, absolutely. (laughs) There's two types of people in this world. (laughs) Okay, so now we know. (laughs) Jessica wants honesty, even if it's, you know, not the nicest thing. Uh Andy wants you to lie. Lie till the death. Yeah, especially when you're going to say something that might hurt his feelings. What what, what do you say? uh, What do you say, Andy? I... I, I mean, I don't think so, man. I mean, how would you like it if someone said that to you? I mean, the only thing she didn't do was ask people to pay $5 a month to help me find a home. <laughs> oh, man. What's that song? How's that song go? <laughs> In the arms. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Well, maybe you could, you know, stop being a p- We could go back out. Because, okay, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm geez. sorry it came out like that. Does that help you? No, no. No, no, no. You can f- Straight off. I mean, instead of instead of worrying about you leaving me for some handsome rich guy, I got to worry about you leaving me for some motherfucker that lives under a bridge. <laughs> oh, my no. God. You are so I dramatic. think we're going to call this a day. The second date update on the 10th. Weekday mornings at 6, 10, 7, 10, and 8, 10. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up crew at hot969boston.com. Come on.